Hello and welcome back to Oracle of Seasons. We're gonna go beat the game right now, and I don't even know if this is gonna be long enough to be an episode. Maybe with the credits it will be. Oh, we're really taking damage, huh? Two hearts gone already, and we only got hit twice. If you enter this area before it's time, then you can't proceed. It just is messed up and you just get warped out. But since we have the huge maker seed, we get to go in there. Use our essences. Un. Blub. Oh, ho, 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 wandering about, foolish princess. Oh, whoops. That was Twin Rova, not Onyx. <laughs> you found you, Princess Zelda. Hope for the people who will snuff that out, and you shall light the flame of despair. <laughs> it's Santa Claus in the red. And the blue is Falco from Star Fox. Sacrifices our group when Zelda, the hope of the people, vanishes from Holron Village. This land will be stricken with despair. It is time the flames of sorrow and destruction and the great sacrifice are united. If we sacrifice Zelda, all will fall into despair. Oh, oh, oh. oh light flame of despair, awaken again, an evil king. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Really? Wow. With not the ring on. They are really terrible. Onyx Castle. So this isn't that difficult. I will, however, go and get some fairies over here. If you actually step through this, the floor will cave in. Oh, it did. I guess the floor will always cave in, but if you step through, the door will close. What? Didn't count, just because I left. Alright, we're gonna need the bombs later, and that's all we're gonna need. Oh, I should change the ring back. So I got a potion before we came here, just in case. Because I had a little trouble with the second phase of Onyx when I practiced. The hardest part was in Twin Rova. Like the first phase of Twin Rova, you have to use like Kukutake and Katame. And she. It's, it's like the fight in Ocarina of Time, where she shoots the elements, fire, or ice, and you have to hit them back at the other person, but you don't have a mirror shield, so it's like... Oops, that's gonna not work. They just go around the room so fast, it's hard to hit the other person. So, so, so time-consuming. to face facade again for some reason. And we get a fairy for killing it. Now, I like to use the Pegasus seeds in the other part, but I don't think it's necessary. Because he's not that fast. He swings around his thing, his mace, but then he rarely throws it. It's too late, Paul. Zelda our sacrifices in our grasp. Soon no one will be able to stop the return of Ganon. Even you shall be destroyed by Onyx. And three hits. You have to do a spin attack. Three hits, and he did. If I can actually do it. 
Uh, don't think I've been beaten. Can you keep up with this fight? So, every time you hit um, Din, you get damage. But you can just take out the Oracle. I mean, the Rod of Seasons and push her aside. So, it's pointless. <laughs> And he's already dead. One more hit later. He does. She does slowly come back to him. So you approach the crystal and it disappears. And you fall in a hole for the true form of Onyx. God! <laughs> Not bad at all, but I'm done toying with you. I will show you my true might. So he's really a dragon. <laughs> I was summoned from the Dark Realm by Twin Rova. See my true form. Feel the might of a Dark Dragon. So we need the Rock's Cape for this. And we have to jump on his hand, which is hard to avoid. And then jump to his crystal. Oh, it's so hard to do. And the worst part is you only do it three times. But I was having so much trouble hitting them the last time in the practice. And these are the worst. too hard to avoid the blue flames. I don't know where... Oh, man. I didn't even avoid that. That's the easiest attack to avoid. You never know which hand he's going to use, either. Oh, man. It's too hard to hit him. There we go. If you try to jump on the hand, while well, it is not... While it is not, um... Oh my god, the blue flames are annoying! It's too hard to avoid them! This is easy to avoid. I keep getting hit anyway. I'm about to die. Good thing we got that potion. He's dead already. Grr, no, it's too late. My orders were to capture Din and deliver the destructive power of a seasonless land to Dwin Rova. Now is the flame of destruction that power is set to devour this land. Grr. <laughs> so I didn't need the potion after all, so I don't have to go back and get another one for Twin Rova. I don't think we need it for the Twin Rova attack, especially Ganon. Thank you, Paul. I knew you could save me. Now that I am free again, the season should return to normal. And it's true, they did. Haran. Northern Haran. Graveyard Holodrum. That weird witch's hut, but you can't even get there with it when it's not winter, so... Twin Robo called Onyx and Varan war from the darkness. Their mission was to send the essences of nature and time into chaos. They were to hand to Twin Rova the sorrow, despair, and destruction of the people. But all is not ended yet. Twin Rova has Zelda. Go to her quickly. I sense a terrible evil. The hour has come. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the flame of despair burns. Thanks to Varan and Onyx, the flames of sorrow and destruction already flicker. And when we captured Zelda, the foolish humans gave us despair. Oh, flame of despair, destruction and sorrow burn with the power of our evil deeds. <laughs> come, come. Follow the light of the three flames. Emerge now from the darkness depths. Emerge again in Gerudo King. Good luck, Paul. Only you can defeat Tunrova. Surely the powers of the eight essences will aid you. Your body is filled with a mystical power. Oh, good, it healed us. So now we still have our potion. Oh, man, this is the worst part. I shall aid you. Oh, hero of the essences, do you remember Nehru, Oracle of Ages? You've beaten Onyx, but Tunrova's plans have not failed. Hurry, the hour of the evil king's return is near. The power of the oracles guide you to Princess Zelda. You must defeat Twin Rova to prevent Ganon's revival. You will succeed, Paul. You must.
May the divine protection of the Triforce be with you, young hero of the essences of nature and time. Alright, so if you want to leave, you can go out this warp and you're by the Meku tree, but we already have full hearts and a magic potion, so we don't need to do that. So you're going to have a maze and eyes point up, down, and right, and left here, so we need to go right. We go, have to go the way that no eyes facing. So this one has an up and a down and a right, so we have to go back left. And don't worry, it's not the same room. Now we're going now we're going right, up and down, so we have to go left again. Now they're going up, down, left, so we have to go back right. And then they're going down, right, and left, so we go up. And down, right, and left. Up, so we have to go. Wait, yeah, left. Now none of them are facing up, so we go up, and we made it. Most annoying part of the battle. Paul, you've finally reached the altar. Bother, we can't have you scampering up about up there. So we've dragged you in here. Santa Claus and Falco. The flames of sorrow, destruction, and despair burn brightly. The return of the evil King Ganon approaches. Our sacrifice of Zelda is all that remains. When we call Ganon's spirit into the vessel, it will be done. You can't stop us. Prepare to meet your doom. Prepare to meet. Your doom. All right. So if you stand in this corner and just whap it, I mean, you're safe. But you need to hit them three times with this, and that's impossible. It's like luck. If you go around, it's almost harder to do that. Oh, it almost hit him. This is where the baseball game came into handy. There's just no way to aim at that, then. This should be easier. And if you hit them, you're... Ah, oh, we got him. If you get hit by those, it's dangerous. It'll take a whole health away from you. Oh, got it. Oh, he moved! Come oh. on, shoot him! Oh man, the whole heart gone. Well, we can put this on, because we don't really need the power ring. Easier to aim this thing. I don't even know. Like, they're not even on the screen at the same time, so how are you supposed to know where to shoot this? And even to aim. Even if you had the chance to aim. Got it. Oh, I don't think you will get this far, but I shall not fall like Onyx and Laron. See my true power. So this is freaking easy as heck. For this one, we need to get our slingshot and have scent seeds on. We'll sacrifice you so the evil king can return. So, we just need to stand next to her and, and attack. And then shoot. What? Oh, because I don't have this on. When she turns into both, you shoot her like that. And then you can just stand here, really. And, like, do a spin attack, and it's enough to... Only problem is 
falling in the lava. I didn't do the spin attack good enough. I think there's one more hit. Let go of it. One, two, four, and then shoot her. And let go of it. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, there we She's already dead. I feel like it was less hits before. Ho ho! Ganon's return has some stick away, Paul. It's not over. All rights have failed. But by sacrificing his body, Ganon will return and you will be destroyed. <laughs> so I fought Ganon on the practice. And I didn't die once. I don't think he hurt me more than one time. It was pretty easy. I remember Ganon being really hard. When I first played this game, and I don't understand why he wasn't hard this game. If you have the Master Sword, you don't have to spin attack to hit him. But if you don't, you do have to spin attack to hit him. But spinning attacking to hit him is better, best anyway. Whoa! <laughs> just die all! Kill all! So I use the Pegasus Boots to move faster. We'll have our potions, so... I think also I never had the ring from the gold man. And then he warps you to this weird room, and then you have to hit him one more time, and he's dead. Oh, I am Ganon, the evil king! But you're dead, dude. Oh, there's a place here. <laughs> Why don't they tell me about this? It was off screen. What do you want from me? Oh, has it ended? Thank you. Oh, you hold to the completion of the rites that would have revived Ganon. Since they could not sacrifice me in their final rite, the powers of darkness could only revive a mindless raging Ganon. Your power, wisdom, and courage were able to prevent Twin Rova's plan to resurrect Ganon. Now hope and peace can return to the hearts of the people. Thank you. You are a true hero. Let us return to the others. Oh no! The castle is crumbling now that the powers of Shadow wane. We must get out of here! What do we do? Let's make like a tree and leave. You did it, Paul. I'm so proud. Leave this to me. So the Meku tree warps us out of the dungeon and into the garden. Why are you throwing leaves on us still? People, I have managed to help you too. Yeah, get back to Kirby so he can destroy you, tree. Welcome back, Princess Zelda. Welcome back, Paul. Now all is finished. I knew you would find a way, Paul. Let us dance together again. Princess Zelda, I'm glad to see you return safely. Paul, you are all I expected. I always believed in you. Paul. Three triangles on your left hand symbolize power, wisdom, and courage. These are the mark of the hero who is fated to appear when peace crumbles in Hyrule. For the essences of nature and time, and the courage you possess, you have fought back the powers of evil. The guidance of the Triforce has made you into this legendary hero. Thank you, Paul. And she gives me a kiss on the cheek. Oh, I'm in love. Cutscene. Now the credits, The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons and Ages. Because technically this episode was all only happening if... No, I guess you had to beat Onyx. But after that, you only got to fight Twin Rova and Ganon if you linked the games. And vice versa, if you linked Seasons to Ages, you would fight Twin Rova and Ganon after you fought Varan.
Oh, there's Ralph back in the other city. And... Nehru has some bread, I guess? French bread? Those houses weren't there. Did they build more houses? Oh, we never t we never got to do the side quest with the baby that we named. I keep forgetting to I kept forgetting to go back and talk to the mom. Whatever. Oh, Moosh. Moosh and his bananas. Oh, the tree. Oh, Ricky, our spirit animal. Don't you sock me. What a jerk. Shooting stars. Make a wish that we can get... Star Fragments and Animal Crossing. So this game's done. Probably on Friday, which is tomorrow. We're gonna have episode 5 of... Bioshock. And then... Saturday, and I don't know what I'm gonna do, because I'm actually gonna be out of town for a whole week starting Monday. I think I'm gonna start a series that's only last that week. Maybe it'll be on Saturday. From Saturday to Friday, I'm gonna maybe do a sucky summer NES and SNES games where I play a bunch of really bad SNES and NES games just for a little bit. A different one each day. So I might do that. But that's going to be a pain to... I have to find a time to record it while I'm recording Bioshock. I guess I record it all on the weekend. I'm just not going to play it that long. Maybe 22 minutes each time or I'll try to beat a level. I'll try to beat the first level of games. I'm going to like pick really bad games like... Home Alone and Crash Test Dummies. Mainly going off what... Angry Video Game Nerd says are bad games. Or I might look up a list of bad games. It's the worst games on NES and SNES, and we'll have a sucky summer. Sucky game summer. And who knows, it might last the whole month of July. I do have to get to the next Zelda game, which is... Wind Waker. I'm probably gonna play the Wii U version, because... I've never played the GameCube version, and I don't want to have to do an emulator. Goodbye! I'm on my boat! I'm gonna go... Start... I'm gonna start the... Link's Awakening! Alright, that's it. Bye!